Welcome back. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We're live, large and in charge on this Tuesday morning. Now, before the break, we saw the fierce ladies who will be fighting in two of the ten bouts on Friday night in the August Warrior Women Day charity event. Face off, of course, against each other here in the studio in the lead-up to the big fight night. And we're now sitting with the organiser uh, and co-owner of Pride Fighting Academy, Jess Munemini, to share with us why the event had to be put together, uh, as well as to be shown some knockout boxes moves hopefully which we'll learn in a short while uh, ladies to all of you thank you very much for joining us and happy women's month thank you, thank you. Yeah. Jess let's get to talking about why you decided to host this event um, in honor of women's month and what the understanding or the idea behind it is so um, African Pride Fighting Championship which is a, a charity based uh, fight promotion that I own with my husband we've been running these for a number of years and we raise funds for different charities yeah. And Women's Month was rolling around and it just came to me where I was like, oh, actually an all-female fight event hasn't been done in South Africa before and why not do it for Women's Month, get a whole bunch of ladies fighting on the same card and raise money for a good cause. Yeah. So it's the first of its kind in South Africa. Uh, naturally quite challenging because the, the pool of lady fighters is quite small. Mm -hmm. So trying to get us all on one card and... Um, all ready to fight at the same time. We've had its own fair share of challenges, yeah, yeah. but it's it's a really exciting event, and everyone everyone that's fighting has their own specific reasons why they've decided to to take fights, mm -hmm. um, and everyone's really passionate about raising money for the charities that we're raising money for. Yeah, and of course, I understand that there'll not only be the ten bouts uh, to be enjoyed by fight fans out there. There's also going to be burlesque entertainment, so yeah. uh, a variety uh, to enjoy on the evening as well. But tell me a little bit more. Um, about the community of fighters, I want to talk a little bit about, especially those reasons as to why the fighters took the fights. Yes, I mean, I can't speak for everyone, but from the little bit of information I know is that because we're raising funds for Rape Crisis and for the same foundation, yeah. Rape Crisis in particular, um, there's not a, one woman who's fighting who can't say that they've been a victim of either a sexual assault or a discrimination you know, scenario or of some kind of violent um, encounter. So everyone that's fighting is really wanting to give some kind of voice to women who have not been able to, to have a voice for themselves. Yeah. For the fight fans out there that are wanting to come around, support, of course, the foundation, support the cause, but also enjoy uh, good fight action, what kind of styles are we going to be seeing on the night? So the, the evening's going to be quite mixed, like you mentioned, the burlesque dancing. So we'll have a, a mix of martial arts or different combat sports, so boxing, Muay Thai and MMA. Oh, wow. And then along with that, there's going to be performances by burlesque dancers as well. And really what we wanted to do was showcase everything that it is to be a woman. So the essential side as well as the strength. So there'll be um, dancers performing, you know, in, in what they see as um, what it means to be a woman. And then the, um, the bunch of fighters are going to be... Perf uh, not performing, they're going to be fighting in of course, their fighting style. Which styles. is a performance in its own. Correct, if you will. yeah. So we really are wanting to, to showcase everything that it is to be a woman. Yeah. Ladies, if I may ask you individually, to maybe tell me about why you are so excited for the event and why it is that you've decided to take up the particular fight that you're going to be in. Uh, for me, it's always been something that's on my bucket list because I've been training for five years under my brother in law, who you're going to meet in a second, Sterling Shaw. Um, so I wanted to see like how much of my skill can actually like come to life in yes. the fight mm -hmm. um, but yeah obviously the cause um, I raised money in my personal capacity for uh, through back of body for rape crisis um, I'm hurtling towards I think 40,000 rand That's at the moment wow. well, um, and I wanted to link it in with a film that I'm because I'm an actress I was the lead in a film called cut out girls yeah. And that's being released in Stir Kinnacore in spring, October, November. Excellent. And I play a boxer in this film, and the film's about date rape. So it's like very much a Time theme in. that ties in. Amazing. Amazing. For me, yeah. It All was right. beautiful. Ladies. Well, I decided to um, be a part of this event because I, f I believe wholeheartedly in teaching women self-defense and teaching them that they can be strong and that there are women out there that will fight for each other, that will back each other up because I've been through abuse and I've been, you know, through near rape and, and so forth. Yeah. And so I'm just all in here just to show women that we've got this and we can be strong and we can take our power back. Yeah. Um, for me, it's a little bit personal, a little bit not. Um, for me to be fighting again after six years of the injury that I had, it's strengthening and it's confidence building for me. And yeah. I think for anyone just to have that one form of, let's call it an art, that brings you that confidence 
everyone needs to have that. And the cause that we're raising funds for, I've had a lot of friends going through high school who have been victims of rape and assault and all that jazz. And for me, it's just to stand up for them, to stand up for these girls that I've known all my life. Yeah. It's just really personal for me. Yeah. Those are all extraordinary stories and really mm. empowering stories. And I hope that uh, the many women who are watching the show right now and those who will be attending and those who will know about this through social media really draw strength from what you all are doing. It's really, really uh, extraordinary. And uh, I, as I said, also for the fight fans to see the skill. And I understand that we're going to be seeing a demo right now. You guys are going to show, be showing off a little bit of the skills that you've got yeah all right so let's call the the instructor in uh, he's got his pads and we've got a pair of gloves somewhere I believe that we should have a set of gloves and uh, we're gonna be showing you uh, how these ladies get down when it comes to the action uh, combos that you might be seeing on the evening of course there's mixed martial arts there's boxing there's Muay Thai I've never seen a Muay Thai fight before so that should be very very exciting indeed um, what are you gonna be showing us sir just a couple of combos that we've been working on. I'm just going to show you those that cobra skill of hers. That's yeah. why they call it the cape, <laughs> the cape cobra. cobra. So I'm going to show you the, the zip zap. Lovely gloves. All right, let's see. Well, the nation's watching. Here we go. OK, let's go. One, two. Check. One, two. Nice. Oh. Cape cobra. Yeah. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey. Straight. Three. One, two. Nice. Pay, pay, chicken wing. Let's go. And there Taste it! There we go. One, two. Straight. Nice. One, two, straight. Yep. Up. 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 Under. Straight. Your body there. Woo! Nice. One, two. And that's, that's that how we That is so it, impeccable eh? skill. Oh. Come on, let's give it up. That, that is superior skill. If you've ever stepped into a boxing ring or have ever tried to do pads, you know how difficult it is to master something like that. Uh, well done, well done. That was fantastic. Uh, so make sure that you can get down to Hope Street Hall to support this amazing event on Friday the 9th of August, which is, of course, Women's Day. Uh, then, of course, get on booking yourself a ticket right now. And you can do that by emailing mike at pridefightingacademy.com. So mike at pridefightingacademy.com and be part of the fight night, a fight for a fantastic cause. Thank you, ladies. Thank you.